So uh, Virgo, this person is looking to approach you with something that's going to shake things up. It's going to shock you. So um, let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, some of you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, April. Going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course and vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of uh, the reading. It is time stamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, um, so if you click on the description bar below, you'll see it says start reading. And then uh, click on that, it will bring you to the start of the read. As I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up. On your story, stick around as there sometimes, you know, it could be messages for Al that jump out and just speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just uh, finish laying the part. I'm going to take this in and then I'll be back. So Virgo, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just looking in the past. Okay. All right. So it seems like you've been with this person for a while. So whoever this is showing up, you've been with them for a while. They've been in your life for a while. That all you expected to have this person um, or be with them for a while, but there was some disappointment, if I can speak. There was some disappointment around this for you. Yeah, there was some disappointment around this for you when really you kind of, and I'm not sure this could have been something that you had been just walking on or putting walk into, kind of just running on hope when it came to this relationship or when it came to this connection, but there was disappointment around that. These are so sweet. These are the new cards. I can't catch they're so cute. Um, but yeah, so these, so there was different, definitely disappointment around that for you. Yeah. The three of pentacles. So this is, like I said, it's just kind of really clarifying and, um, emphasizing that whether this was someone that you had been with for a while, long term I'm talking about, or someone that you had hoped um, that you'd be with for a while, is coming together, collaborating, coming together in a, in, in a relationship. Uh, that was really important to you for some reason. You'll know, take that as it resonates. Your person, your person, it seems like there was some form of acknowledgement, acknowledgement, realization, epiphany, wake up call, even to the fact that you kind of provided or gave or was some form of blessing in their, in their life. You kind of had some form of positive impact in their life. I don't feel like this person acknowledged that before that might have contributed to just the disappointment of, of maybe what went on. I don't feel like this person, not even, I don't feel like this person definitely didn't acknowledge that before. Um, but there is this sense of, aha, this victory, success, um, because of this epiphany. It's like they're wanting to bring this back, bring this back around again, wanting to, yeah, have some form of victory when it came to this. Just bringing it to where it is at the moment. And that's after this realization. Coinciding or uh, existing with this. No, that's not the way. Um, you know what I'm saying. Once they had that realization, this epiphany, they wanted to kind of bring this back again, which brings us to where we are at the moment. Whether you acknowledge it or not, Virgo, you're in this space where it's kind of fixing. There's an energy of fixing, healing, mending, 
this relationship, this connection. You're hesitant though, showing up as the knight. There's hesitancy there. Yes, there's emotion still, but you're definitely hesitant, definitely wary of this person. I'm not sure whether, I feel like they, they have approached you and if they have, yeah, definitely have approached you showing up as the emperor, this person has taken the lead on this. That approach could be just maybe simply sending a text message or initiating contact or a meetup or some form of arrangement, but this person was initiating that. Hesitant though, very hesitant. And that's just stemming from your experience with this person in the past. Like I said, there was a lot of hope that you had when it came to this person in this relationship. I feel like you really wanted it to work. So that disappointment that you felt was, you know, it, it kind of weighed on you or came on, on you like a ton of bricks, which brings us to why the magician and the sevens in your challenge position. It's like, you just don't believe that this can work. Like regardless of the fact that there's still emotions there, regardless of the fact that you still have emotions for this person. It's like, I've tried this many times before, the amount of work I put in this before, that time and effort. And it just, I tried all different types of angles to maybe achieve something when it came to this, but it didn't work. And I don't believe that it can. It's like the hope has been zapped out of you, that experience with this person. It's just like, it's like, uh, -uh it's just never going to work. This is never going to work where this person is thinking the total opposite. You know, there's a, there's this, um, you know, for some of you, they could be very pushy or, you know, just maybe messaging you every day, calling you every day, showing up at your house every day, because we've got the ace and the of pentacles and the nine in their chatter. So this idea that they've got is set on starting again and building again with you. It's so set on that, that it's getting in the way, that passion, that desire that they have for that to happen is getting in their way. It's making them possibly a bit too be, it's making them possibly be a bit too forceful when it comes to just fixing this and mending things. I mean, you know, there's history here. There's history here. So this person needs to cross watcher. Um, tread carefully. This person needs to tread carefully. They, this person needs to slow things down even. Just slow it down a bit. Be considerate or understanding of the fact that this person, you know, that your Virgo was uh, in, a, in, in the place that you are now, it seems, ready, aware of what this person, what Virgo brings to your life and the impact that they have on you. It's just the same that you wasn't when they was. Because now they've lost hope, or at least that's in their challenge, whether they can get that back or not. Because what's in your want is you just, it's just left you confused. It's just left you confused. It's like now, it's like, why do you, for some of you, I can hear you say, why did you have to come back? I was, you know, I'd gotten myself into a certain headspace and emotional space, and things were tickling, not tickling along or moving along nicely. And now you've come and confused me. Why have you come and confused me? I don't want to deal with this right now. I don't want to deal with this right now. But this person is like, well, are you ready for this, Virgo? This person, there's frustration there. They recognize or acknowledge that there's challenges, uh, but they're seeing it as minor challenges because this person has this feeling of wanting to come to you with something that's going to shock you. Something, we've got the tower moment there. Something that's going to shake things up. So, you know, and um, I'm not sure what that could be. Uh, usually we move into the part two of the reading, get a further picture. I will be implementing that in the next two weeks, guys. Look out for that. There's just a bit of a delay on that. Um, but yeah, that way we could have went into more about what that is. Uh, but yeah, it's something to shock you. Something that's going to surprise you. It's something uh, that they know and that they feel is going to shake things up. And that's to get through these challenges that you kind of put up, these barriers. Uh, well, you know, not barriers because they're seen as minor challenges. Look, little do they know where you're at. Not to say that you won't or that they can't. <laughs> and I know some of you don't want to hear this, but 
change your mind, make you think otherwise, because again, let's keep it real Virgo. We do have emotions there still. So hopefully, you know, and you know, this person got to this point late, but they got there. So let's, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye.